We're experimenting with something new here today. Today is a bit of a, a trial, uh, maybe call it a pilot. We've been given a pilot. Congratulations, we've been given a pilot. We'll see where it goes. It's an album spotlight. So the kickoff album is Josh Quillen's Steel Drums. And this is a digital album uh, available on Josh's Bandcamp uh, site. Uh, you can go there and uh, give it a listen and give it a purchase right here. There we are. So just a little bit uh, first about the artist. Um, Mr. Quillen is a uh, percussionist with uh, the group So Percussion. So I guess you know, you'd call him a contemporary music, um, chamber musician, soloist, collaborator. Uh, sounds like he does a lot of stuff. I don't know how long he's been playing with this group, but I think for some while. And you know, I know of their reputation. I think for those of us living outside of New York, so they're a New York-based group. I mean, I, I just I see news on social media about about the activity. They seem very active. I, I followed the group early on when they uh, first began, and so I, yeah, I think I know more about them from their early years, but they've put out a lot of albums. I think, you know, like their first album was, um, I think still their best. I think I'd still rank it number one. And then their second album was also very good, very strong. And then they put out a bunch of other stuff since then. I don't, I, I sort of lost track at that point. Anyway, so you can imagine my uh, surprise, I guess, when caught wind of this, this, this new solo album from Mr. Quillen over the summer t entitled Steel Drums. What? Okay. I, you know, for me, I would think put out a solo marimba album, you know? That makes sense. So, honestly, you know, I thought, okay, it's Josh Quillen's Steel Drums. Maybe he's just being ironic. In fact, I was pretty convinced of it. This, I bet this is a solo marimba album. It's got six, seven, you know, six to eight solo marimba pieces perhaps probably you got some of your japanese school maybe your contemporary american maybe some some european mixed in there maybe a new up and coming you know emerging composer i thought well, this, be, this is a great this sounds like actually a great marimba album you know the ironic title um steel drums but i mean that's 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 how we communicate these days right well you uh you can imagine my surprise when I hit play and the first note, it's um, it's a steel drum. Turns out it's a it's a steel drum album. So curveball, you know. I thought, well, am I am I qualified? Am I credentialed to speak with any any level of authority on a solo steel drum album? My steel drum experience is non-substantive, for sure. <laughs> So the album itself is kind of this this blend of old standards and Mr. Quillen's take on these standards, sort of interwoven with uh, newer commission pieces, pieces that were written for Mr. Quillen. Uh, he does a really nice thing of sort of um, bookending the album with uh, two different takes of What a Wonderful World, and then he lists you know, in in the track title, which take it was, which take and which day, and we just have to we have to assume that he's being honest with us because it's like whatever day two, take one or take three, day one, take I don't know. It it makes it sound like he didn't have to take many takes in order to get these these really really beautiful versions. And um, you know, I wasn't born yesterday. I've been in the recording studio before. Okay, so I would just be honest. For me, it'd be like, well, day four, take 173. Mr. Quillen doesn't want to reveal that, or I don't know. I mean, maybe we're just, we have, we have to take it at face value, I guess. Okay, sure. First day, first take. Yeah, no. Probably my favorite of the standards on the album is, uh, I think it's going to rain today. 
Randy Newman tune. It's just gorgeous. I don't know how else to describe this one. This tugs at the heartstrings, you know. There's something so sweet about it. And I don't know Mr. Quillen, I don't know if he's a sweet guy or not. Like in the recording studio, you can fake this stuff. I mean, there's patches and there's plugins now, and I think they even have those for feelings, you know, sentimentality. Um, it's just, you just hit it, you hit a button, and you know, it like, <laughs> it just kind of encompasses everything. Then the other part of the album, are these newly commissioned works. Uh, maybe some of them not new new, um, but works that have been written uh, for Mr. Quillen over the years. And I think conceptually this is this is actually very interesting. You know, we take an instrument that has sort of this uh, attached uh, body of work or, or style to it. Mr. Quillen is, is sort of ripping the instrument uh, out of its tradition in a way and saying, here, it can be used in different ways. And I think this is fascinating. Uh, we have a, a three movement work from Dan Truman, composition faculty at Princeton. We have a, a, a work from Paul Lansky, was of course longtime composition faculty at Princeton. Uh, this great piece uh, by Mark Danzigers, Lion Lying Down, who I believe got his PhD in composition from Princeton and also went to Yale. <laughs> I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. Oh, okay. So to get in the club, you gotta maybe have a, a hoity-toity uh, institution attached to your name. No, I can smell a rat. I can smell a rat when a rat's around. So we dress up the album, you know, we, we come out of the gates with um, What a Wonderful World. Hey, aren't, we're all in this together, right? And then, um, you know, at some point we realize we've taken a turn. I see where we are. I see where we've ended up. You scratch the surface, you realize um, Mr. Quillen <laughs> has a degree from Yale. And um, it's weird. Guess where he teaches? Princeton. Huh, looks like we like our uh, prestigious uh, East Coast uh, institutional affiliations, don't we? Yeah, the album reeks of that. Absolutely reeks of it. Why stop there? Why stop there? Let's keep tacking them on, right? You know, maybe get someone from, um, uh, I don't know, get someone from, from MIT to write. Maybe you can get Noam Chomsky to write something, yeah? Maybe a piece for uh, linguistics and pan. Maybe, yeah. I know your performance work, Mr. Quillen. You like to write? You like to talk while you play? Okay. Yeah, hey, uh, volume two, steel drums. Um, other standards and chomps. It's coming out. Get ready to buy it next summer. <laughs> Wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? Uh, of the commission works, you know, Dan's piece really kind of stands out really, really cool use of the kick drum and the hat and like just really really great sounds that these guys were able to get. I, what can I say? The pieces all sound great. I mean what am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to say that they don't sound great? They sound great. By all accounts it looks like Mr. Quillen knows how to play the pans. I mean if what you look for in an album is you know an artist who is is clearly exceptional in what he or she is doing, where the craft is just sort of dripping off of the album itself. You know, if you're looking for, for something that has just a really refreshing mix of repertoire, old and new, and the playing sort of uh, speaks with an openness, you know, that you can rarely find on recordings these days, where it just sounds effortless and, and, and literally as if breathing life into the music. Okay, sure. I mean, I guess this might be the album for you. Yeah, go go to Bandcamp. Go to Bandcamp and here's the address. Pay $10 or 15. I paid 15. Or I I'd say it's even worth 20, maybe even more. Let me just interject though about the Bandcamp thing. So, a digital release. I get it, right? I, I get it, you know, I understand where we're, where we're headed. Yeah, you know, I'm old school, old school. Or maybe mid school, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm CDs, you know, I'm a, 
uh, I spent my, my, my formative music listening years in the 90s, right? We had CDs, that's, that's, they were the thing. I guess I'm not old school, I'm not into vinyl or you know, piano rolls or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, if you're, if you're like me and you, you, you want a little brick and mortar, maybe pass, maybe this isn't for you. Listen, I drive a 1999 Honda Accord, okay? And I'm proud of it, I'm proud of it. How am I gonna play this album in my car? What do I do with this? Is this where I put it? Do I feed it in here? Do I put it into the CD player? Or what? How am I supposed to play this? Is there another place to put it? Where's the USB port? Is it under the seat in the Honda Accord? It's a 99, I don't know where they put the USB port. That's the stereo system. Tape, CD. Where do I put it? Uh, everyone, do yourselves a favor and go out and purchase Josh Quillen's steel drums. It really is worth it. Josh is a brilliant musician uh, and a, an amazing guy. To be perfectly honest, I don't buy percussion albums pretty much ever, and I don't listen to them. I'm not making a joke. I really don't. But this one is, is totally, totally worth it. And every now and again, you come across something that's super fresh and uh, really, really honest, and I think that's what you're going to get out of this disc. Thanks.